it's nice that it goes through the walls here. Great. The one that is. Kind of get spoiled by the other classes. I just want to diagonally point this up towards them and, you know, be super safe, but that probably makes the mage too, too good. I also figured out there's a back dash. You can do a back dash in this game. What you have to do is, as you're about to press the dash button, you have to press the opposite direction. And by clicking the opposite direction as you press the uh, um, the dash button, you do the back dash. But it still exists. I didn't think it did, but I've done it accidentally a number of times. That's good. I took damage anyways. More damage. Hard to judge what that hitbox is, unfortunately. much fairer version of the one from uh, the first game where they make you backtrack and like almost guarantee that you're going to get hit well plenty of up to go I've noticed some of the, you know, things or locations of this estuary is always seems to be located somewhere uh, to the far right hand side. Um, in addition to, you know, I'm just sort of thinking out loud the um first boss you fight is sort of randomized like um like the first game it's sort of could be anywhere um just sort of randomly appears uh, location wise second boss is always located at the end of the um the end of the wharf which the game's designed so that you can't get that easy uh, entrance uh, by coming from the snowfield to the end of the uh, bar, uh, the barge. Um, but I hate these guys. I'm gonna die here. I think I'm gonna die here. But anyways, getting back to what I was saying, um, the first boss is sort of randomly placed in the first area, which is fine. Second one, obviously at the end of the barge. Uh, you know, so you have to make it all the way through the barge. They do give you that halfway checkpoint, which was pretty cool of them. Uh, this one always seems to be up into the, uh, up into the right. Um, you know, obviously not fully right, but you're, you're, you're trying to get to it like an upper right-hand corner area. Just because of the way the, uh, boss entrance door is designed, it can't... It can't just be, you know, to my, you know, if I go left, 
uh, if I go down to the next room and then I go left, I can guarantee you that that uh, boss door is not in that that upper left hand area across from where I used to be. Barbarian would be good. But she would take more damage, I think. Um, I'm thinking that... Unless I'm mistaken, I'm thinking that probably the other areas have a similar pattern to them. I bumped the mic again, good. Um, where I'm guessing, you know, the... The archive, the whatever is down in the basement, mines, pit, devil area, dungeon. Um, probably boss is either at the top or bottom or left or right. It's going to probably have a, a random yet, you know, set area that you want to try to look in to get to. Um, and then there's... I'm sure other stuff that I'm not aware of right now that I'll need to do. But hopefully we can speed up getting to the uh, boss here in the next this episode or the next. Um, I'd very much like to get through faster so I can uh, move on to the next area and um Hoping this series doesn't last more than say 50 episodes, because I can tell already that I'm a little—I'm definitely overpowered for the area I'm in right now, and I may be overpowered for the next area as well. So, and then after that, I've got two more areas to go. I've got the uh, whatever they call that—the sun, sun room, sun axe temple, and then the basement. Do I risk and get the treasure or move on with my day? Hmm. Too fat right now. Crits to super crits is good. But Hyperion's a ring. That's Hyperion's ring, isn't it? Another chance of death. Oh, 108 resolve is not good, though. That is going to eat right through my health. Yeah, that would have been nice if I had more. didn't I?
Definitely need the health. Up here. Are you ramps? We're going to go try and look for um, cursed relics. Um, can't really work with this level of HP on the boss, I don't think. So. We're going to have to either... And this is going to be difficult because the darkness in this uh, does not play well for these this area. It works super well in the um, area I just came from where they they're so bright, the background's so bright that, uh, you know, the darkness doesn't really hurt it all that much. Yeah, these, either one of these are cursed. I need cursed relics so I can increase my, um, <laughs> so I can increase whatever that number is that's red right now. Um... Yep, neither one of these are cursed. I want cursed. Like I'm gonna find that one cursed one I'm looking for. I could play pay off Pizza Girl now though, if I wanted to. Or we go up in the attic, I guess. I don't know why I'm going to keep calling this the attic. This is uh, more like an archive. Alright, that looks good. Oh, looks like paintings are back. That's fine. I have to start checking all the paintings though. Even though the one in the foreground... They're easy, I guess they're easier to spot in this game. That one's fun. They actually exist in the foreground. Probably still trip me up from time to time, I imagine. There's two. Uh, right. One more in the foreground in this area. It needs to be taken care of. That right there is one. And I'm kind of glad they saved them for this area. They seem to fit better. Uh, than just to have them strewn about the whole world. The 
the hell is that? Oh, I missed you. Up. Oh. I don't think I can damage those. Oh, but I do have Hyperion's ring here still. So. so those guys cannot be damaged. I'll have to make a note for that later on. Either that they have to be damaged by something else like magic or something. I don't know. Uh, this appears to be a dead end. It's pretty dead end looking. Now this guy definitely can't be damaged. Fine by me. Hmm. That was a mimic. I was looking at my map and I went, hmm. Yes, I had a second Hyperion's ring. Unfortunately, do not get that, uh, whatever they call that, back dead. Little bastard. They explode though, too. Do you see that? A jerk. A big dumb jerk. See here. Okay, this is a good one actually. I do like how they continue to um, show you on map. Is it a valid chest? Is it not a valid chest? I mean, they could have very easily taken away that in this game and just be like, oh, I'll have to take a good look at each chest before moving on. That would be... Hmm, would be, let's see, your each unique relic, that would be an additional 12% damage, but I would be whatever you want to call it. Oh, yep, and the coins are poisoned too, great. You have a real treasure chest sparkles and the other ones don't. Blows. I had actually planned to roll through that one. That didn't happen. Like a candy sweep. I just extended my run by two to three hits. All right, we made it to the archives. Let's see what we got here. Room problem, visual amnestia. During the shift, massive chambers may be moved a thousand steps away from the original location. This is what research called the room problem. How do I know a room is a room? Why do rooms always connect cleanly rather than merge into a grotesque mass? The room problem is partially solved during a visit to the village in the Kerrigan Plateau, who reported that objects in their house had been fused together in a formless way. The villager suffered from visual agnosia, the inability to categorize, recognize an object, which had meant it difficult identifying a table as a table. Interestingly, the only objects that were fused were the man's most personal effects, which he kept in a private room. The moment see here, the moment I observed it, they disappeared. For a collective unconscious, the world that determined what a room is, is and what it isn't. Raise more interesting question, the identity of his soul of an observer, subconscious group think. That's why I think Lemich hiding chambers seem immune to shifting. Only he and I know where it is. We both have very concrete understanding of what it is. Plus it never changes. Hmm. Interesting. All right, free health. The run continues. Thousands of musings on the additional philosophers. As my better judgment, I have added the philosophers and free thinkers of our research group to 
my surprise, they helped us in expanding the ways we examine our world. Just don't tell them that. All the ideas they've pitched, the one that piques my interest most is their unified soul theory. In general, it is abandoned the assumption that we are all individual souls, each had our own soul, but on a metaphysical level, they are all interconnected. Ramifications of story are far reaching. If they are interconnected, then do we have a transferred soul from one vessel to another, or could we not bind one soul into multiple objects? We're con all connected. Something, something. Looking through documents, you find an earmark page. Eureka, I've discovered the transitive properties of black roots used to bind objects to a person's soul. After some lengthy explanation, I've successfully bound the souls of High Scholar Murr and Gonghead, the twins of, of this dirty door. Their collective life force now ensures the door remains completely impenetrable, even in the craftiest locks. It's truly fascinating. Note to self, stop calling Agnia and Zoe the Gongheads. They are still family after all. Interesting. Possible applications of this discovery are endless. I could bind my siblings to the golden door and free the need for soldiers to stand guard. Or I could bind a soul to a treasure chest and create a perfect assistant. Even bind a soul to an eggplant and make it walk around. And I guess I made that more complicated than it need to be. So that would explain in the background. I keep passing these, um... Yep, that deals damage. I keep passing these um, tapestries, I guess, banners, tapestries that uh, depict uh, what looks to be like these mage guys, and then they have eggplants. And they're kind of like Egyptian hieroglyphs a little bit, you know, in terms of the way they're all standing sideways, uh, and then eventually. max health 50 max mana that's worth it let's try and defeat I'm probably gonna die immediately but oh yeah I'm gonna die immediately all right that leads to nowhere okay good to know Dead. Six in the that three in there and gunner is something. I need to get the mastery up on those lesser classes like the assassin and um, bard, maybe mage, wizard mage. I'll have to take a look at their rankings eventually and try and level those guys up to the best of my ability. <sighs> New. All right, I collected armor. And I'm on to Elm. Warden chest. Up oh, here's the cape. I don't have enough money to buy it, but I do have the deal. I thought I'd be running into more armor than I have. I'm a little. Maybe I shouldn't be concerned. Thought I'd run into a butt ton of armor. My guest gave me an early wedding presents. Oh yeah, I may, you may, may have missed it because I've been talking to these guys off screen, but uh, essentially the uh, um, blacksmith and my um, whatever call enchantress, uh, they fell in love and now they're engaged. So once you hit their end of their dialogue tree, they give you those little uh, white orbs that you can use to upgrade 
how many levels a um you know how far will your whatever go and you can upgrade you can upgrade your classes uh so that they can wield their uh i don't know you want to call it divine weapon unique weapon um, you can also upgrade so that your like strength or skill the strength health magic uh will go to a higher level so if you you know instead of something magic uh one going to say 10 it now goes to 12 or 15. i still hate war in this game they have just enough health to be a pain in my ass and they are super aggressive forget what these things it's an obelisk yes but what does the obelisk do i always forget uh increases crits yep that makes sense i don't know if this guy is really a crit master he's probably not but uh what do you have uh, that was dumb pretty good up there this time i don't care about about Hermes shoes. Damn it. There are three of them there. again here I gotta think start thinking more negatively because it seems like every time I say I'm gonna get shot I don't I should be able to avoid it I take the damage all right that's a show I should probably Binge watch. Bob the bur Bob's burgers. Doing great. Doing great. the um samurai but I'll take it anyways because I'm not gonna use the freaking dynamite up biggies By the time you see this episode, it'll be well past Halloween, but I'm always surprised how few Halloween specials there are. I mean, there are more than most holidays, so I probably shouldn't complain, but, you know, there's nutty as, nutty as people go with their decorating for, um, for Halloween. You would think that it would be more online this day Christmas. You know in terms of Halloween specials Christmas specials but I mean Christmas in the United States is so fucking ridiculous in terms of 
everybody decorates there's a billion million christmas specials and i'm not just talking about the ones that everyone plays every year i'm talking about this stupid generic uh hallmark channel ones that people just eat the crap out of eventually there'll be a youtuber i'm sure somewhere down the line you know and like or whatever platform people are using at that point five years from now where they go back and they review every terrible um hallmark channel uh christmas special 